Hi, it's Louise. I'm here in Botswana in Africa. I've been here for eight weeks on this location at Elephant Sands. When I first came to Africa, to South Africa, to start shooting Do Elephants Go to Heaven, I encountered a lot of challenges. First of all, it was really difficult to get into Zimbabwe to document the story of the kidnapped baby elephants. I tried smuggling my equipment in. I tried hiring camera uh, filmmakers in Zimbabwe. People are afraid to shoot there. The Zimbabwe government has a lockdown on journalists. So I started looking around to tell my story of a sentient species struggle for survival. And I came to Elephant Sands looking for B-roll because there's a lot of elephants here. And when I first arrived, I thought, wow, this is wonderful. The family's giving them water. All the elephants are coming in every day. It was a heartwarming story. And then after a few days, and I started paying more attention and noticing more things, I discovered that there really wasn't enough water, and there isn't enough food, and Botswana currently has 50% of Africa's elephant population, and they can't support it. They don't have the food, and they don't have the water. So I decided at that point in time that this would be a better story. It would be a story where we could really make a difference. We can help these elephants. So I've changed the name of the documentary. It's Where Elephants Rule. It is about the epic struggle of the Moeller family who's providing water on a daily basis for these elephants. We have from 100 to 300 come in every day, but they don't have enough water to, for these elephants. So the focus of the film is going to be helping them to get the funding to open wells in the area that have been capped so that these elephants can get the water they need. The problem is they've fled poaching. Botswana is bordered by Zambia, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, Angola, and Namibia, all countries that are famous for their high poaching statistics. The elephants know. They talk to each other. I've been told by tourists who go up in country that they see elephants that during the day they swim across the Chobe River to Namibia, eat, and then before nightfall, swim back. Why? Because they know they're going to be poached. So they're all here. This is a giant sanctuary for elephants. And if we want this species to survive, we need to provide water and food. If you look at this area, you can see there's no trees left. They have to walk so far in order to get food that there's no time to walk back in order to get water. And the problem is that there's so many babies now. I'm just amazed at the number of babies that come in and so many cows, and they can't get to the watering hole because the bulls dominate it. It's not all terrible, though. There's some heartwarming stories here. There's the story of Benny, who is a huge African elephant who had a really bad abscess in his knee. He came to Mike Toth, the manager of Elephant Sands, and I don't know how they communicated, but they did. And he let Mike know he needed help. And this enormous elephant allowed Mike to give him water. Mike managed to arrange for a vet to treat Benny. We'll be seeing that in our footage. And also we have many different stories of, of elephants who've been ID'd and identified by the Moeller family. We have the clever ones who know how to turn on the taps in the evolution blocks. They go, put their trunk over, turn on the tap. The very clever one knows how to turn on the cold water. They don't, he or she doesn't have to turn on the hot. And then we have the naughty ones, there's several of those, and they go around breaking things, which has actually become kind of out of control. There's just so many elephants. So I hope that you're happy with my decision to change the focus of the documentary. I know that we can make a big difference here in keeping Africa's elephants alive, and that's why I've decided to go with Where Elephant Rules. I'd appreciate your support going forward, and um, I hope you continue to look at our updates. We're going to be posting a lot of stuff on social media, and we'll be posting on our Facebook page, Instagram, and our website, Doll Films, D O L Films.org, which will soon have the, the new updated documentary where elephants rule. And they still rule here in Botswana, in Nata, where the family, the Moeller family, is doing their very best to keep these elephants alive. Thank you for your support.